Hello YouTube, it's Magma Rhino here, and today is a quick video based off of a request by Lazlau2. Um, he asked me to get a few different browsers and compare them. So what I'm going to do first is go into the default browser that is included with the Asus Transformer and just quickly go over it. Um, I'm going to say that right off the bat, this is my favorite one, the default one. Um, it's not the stock Android browser. Um, Asus, I think they pretty much just made their own browser. Um, but this one came out really, really good. It looks nice, it's smooth. Uh, loading pages is quick. It's got the little, the taskbar automatically disappears when you scroll down. It comes back when you scroll up. Um, or if you actually tap the tab, it comes up. But tabs is really simple. You open the tab, it opens up, opens up your home page. Easy to close them out. You got your settings here, uh, bookmarks, and your history. Uh, you can make folders in your bookmarks. You can search the page, or no, that's search in Google. To search the page, it's in here, find on page. Uh, you can add to favorites, hit the star, uh, refresh, go back, go forwards, and that's pretty much it. Um, some of the reasons I like this over the others is um, because of the look of the loading bar, the little blue line. It just looks really smooth and really neat. Um, also, the tab setup, as you'll see, some of the browsers, they don't have tabs up top. Actually, the only one that does have tabs is Dolphin Browser, which is the next one I'm doing. Um, video playback, I'll do it quick. Oh, right. Um, normally, I would do the always use this option, except uh, then it wouldn't work when I tried to show you this on other uh, browsers, so. This is just 360p. As you can see, when uh, Flash content starts out, it is a little, little bit jumpy, but it gets smooth pretty quick. Um, except for when there's ads popping up. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Stupid. Well, alright, as you can see now, it is, it's relatively smooth. Um, not perfect, except... Uh, that is pretty much due to a, oops, sorry, a recent update, 3.2.1. It was actually from about a month ago now. Uh, it just, it screwed up everything in the browser. But, um, Android 4.0 is going to be released within this month, hopefully, so that should fix all the issues with this browser. Um, other than that, it's really good. Uh, it is the best out of all of them, unless you're looking for better Flash content playback. Next one, Dolphin Pad, which is actually my second favorite. Uh, it's called Dolphin Browser for Pad. Um, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> hmm, random. Uh, anyway, ba ba ba. Right. So one thing I don't like about this is when you touch on the uh, address bar, it pops you up here to enter it, which. It's not really a big deal. I just, I don't like it. I mean, why can't you just type in right here? That would make more sense to me. But whatever. So I'll go to Engadget. As you can see, the loading bar is over the um, the address like most normal browsers are. Um, it loads pretty much as quick as all the others. And scrolling on the Dolphin for a pad uh, is a lot smoother than the others. Uh, it takes a little bit longer to load, like, as you scroll and as you zoom. But it is a lot smoother overall. Let me just go to YouTube real quick. I'll just watch any random video. Um, so let's watch. That one looks good. Right, uh, dolphin for pad. Well, that was a really, really bad example. <laughs> Let's try this one. I can't believe that video got 18,000 views. Um... Come on, is there nothing to show how smooth this is? Apparently not. 
well anyway, you can watch the Flash content on the ads on the side. Um, it's pretty smooth, it's about as smooth as the others. Um, there you can see. It's still not perfect, but it is smoother, it doesn't like lag when you start it up. Um, so it's pretty good. Uh, adding tabs is the plus over here. Automatically brings you to your home screen. You can close them out. Uh, one thing, another thing I don't like, uh, the settings. It's on the tab that you're, you have open. It's not like a, in a separate place on the side. I don't, I just, I don't know, it kind of bothers me that they do that. I wish they would switch the plus with the settings or something like that. Um, also when you scroll, this is always there unless you hit the little arrows, that'll make it disappear. But that does make it completely disappear, which is a bit nicer. Um, you just have to actually do something. Then you got the back and forward here. Your favorites is nice, it's a little bar. And, right, I don't know what this is. I, I think this shows all your tabs if you have multiple tabs open. Uh, and you also got your settings and you can get add-ons up for this. Um... Next one is Opera. Opera and Firefox, which is the next one, um, are okay. I would only recommend getting them if for some reason you feel like you absolutely must. Um, but actually, I should go back. Uh, this is what like the default home screen is. It's pretty cool. You get a bunch of little windows. It's kind of like Google Chrome. You can add them. It calls them speed dials. And you can jump right to them. Um, loading pages is pretty quick. It does, um, cache them. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Somebody corrected me last time. I quite honestly had no clue, but... So it caches the pages. So now if I were to go back, loads quick, go forwards. It should load quick, but whatever. Um, tabs, there it goes. Alright, so that's not as quick as it really should be, and it was before, but anyway, uh, tabs are kind of annoying. You hit the window button, it pops down. You can add all these tabs to it. Uh, it's kind of strange, though, because you... how it works, like you... they're kind of like cards, you can shuffle through them, close them out if you hit the right button. There it goes. Or if you just tap it again, it'll it'll stay on that. So, I mean, it's good if you want to jump back and forth quick, except having the tabs up top is a lot easier. But then again, this isn't optimized for a tablet. And then you touch the O here, and this gives you all your settings, add-ons, bookmarks, all that stuff. Um, last one is Firefox. This one, it's just, it's very, very, very simplified. So let me go to, like, Engadget. I forgot to show a flash playback on the other. I'll go back. Um, so basically, what makes this one a little bit nicer if it's what you're looking for, uh, it doesn't actually have the loading bar, which is annoying, because sometimes you want to know how close it is to done, even though the bar isn't very accurate. But what's cool on this is if you want your navigation, you slide to the left. Uh, you got your favorites, back, forwards, and settings. And if you slide to the right, you get all your tabs. Um, you can also add a new tab. Um, but I mean, other than that, it is, it's pretty oversimplified. You can sync it with the Firefox on your computer, which is good if you use Firefox. Um, also, whenever you open a new page, you get all this stuff. Or I believe you can set a home page. So I'm just going to close these out. I'm going to go to YouTube and show you the uh, Flash playback. I haven't actually tried it on Firefox yet, so I'm not sure how good it'll be, but it's going to load us in tablet. Right, also I could not find anywhere to change the user agent string to make it so you're identified as a tablet, not as a tablet, um, as a desktop instead of a tablet or a phone. So I believe you're just going to be stuck with this, unless you go and tap desktop every time. Um, so what will be got something good? <sighs> Don't know what that is, but let's watch that. Oh, um, strange. 
hold on a sec. Let me try playing it in Opera and see if it works. Um, I don't know why it just did that. You might have to actually download a different kind of flash for that specific thing. For, um, whatchamacallit. Wow, I'm losing it. For Firefox, there might be a specific flash plugin meant for Firefox you can download. Yeah, because this is working fine. But as you can see, on Opera, flash content is ridiculously smooth. Um, so there, there's absolutely no problems with this. Like, even as you're scrolling, it's still pretty smooth playing back. So, if you're looking to watch a ton of YouTube videos, you don't really care about the whole the tab set up like this, which is cool if you get used to it, except it's more convenient to have the tabs up top. Um, this, in the settings, advanced, you can set it to desktop user string, enable flash, all that stuff. I don't know what Opera Turbo is. Um, I, whatever. But there's a bunch of settings you can play around with. Uh, by default, the zoom is 125, so you will want to change that if you do get Opera. Um, other than that, that's probably it. Um, so if you are looking for the best Flash content playback, regardless, let me try playing a game. Because, even though you don't have, well, you do have the keyboard if you have the dock, but, oh, that one won't work well. But, I mean, some... Times you can see how good the flash con uh, the uh, blah 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 blah. You can see how smooth the flash playback is by how smoothly it loads these games because these games um, require a lot of like resources, I guess you could say, to run. Um, so in the default browser, they are very slow loading, and it looks like it'll be the same for this, uh, but maybe not. <laughs> um, no, actually, that's pretty good. Because um, even these advertisements sort of give it away sometimes. Um, so anyway, while this is loading, uh, I will just say that the default browser that the Transformer comes with is, in my opinion, the best browser. Unless you are looking for good Flash playback. Um, if you're maybe looking to play games, if you have the dock. Yeah, so this is actually pretty fast loading. And the quality's on high. So if you have the dock and you want to play Flash games, then I would definitely say get Opera. Um, just because it is, it's very fast loading. Um, it's not as fast as a desktop, but this doesn't have as much power as a desktop, so that's really no surprise. I don't know how to play this. <laughs> oh well. Um, anyway, so, close the tab, can't close that, exit out. So, overall, uh, default browser is the best, um, overall browser, um, it's just the easiest to use, it's the neatest looking, it's the cleanest, uh, works the best in my opinion, other than Flash. Dolphin Browser for Pad is a good alternative if you just like some of the settings, or the layout on the Dolphin Pad better then it's a good alternative. Opera is good if you are looking for good Flash content playback. Firefox is good if you have Firefox on the desktop because you can just sync it up. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for Zippo99 for subscribing while I was doing the video. Um, that's pretty much it. So remember I will be doing those giveaways once I hit 500 subs. I believe I'm around 340 or 350 right now, so I am getting pretty darn close. Uh, you must be subscribed to win anything, so make sure you go up there and hit that button. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button down there. If you want to suggest a future topic, comment below. Um, that's pretty much it. Also, if you like my stuff or my channel, uh, be sure to go there, I think, and share it with your friends. Get the word out, get them to subscribe so I can do those giveaways quicker and sooner and all that stuff. 
So thank you again for watching and I hope to see you soon.